So I haven't done one of these ones yet and I thought now it would be a really good time to do one. A journal update. What's going on? My name is Dylan Greck and welcome to another episode of the Trading Journal series. So to my 76 subscribers that are following me, you may know that the Trading Journal series is a series that documents my journey of one day becoming a successful and professional trader. And well, if you caught on to the last part, professional trader, and you read the title of this video, then you might be interested to know that something major has happened. And as I have yet to update my adherent to uh, recent trading events, I think today it might be a good time to actually start off the actual trading journal itself. So if you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you may have seen that I posted up recently that I have accepted a job or a contract with a proprietary trading firm in the United States named Maverick Trading. Now, this is a huge step forward in my trading career because uh, being a proprietary trader is something that I have strived for for a very long time and I can finally say that I have uh, accepted this role and I am currently in their training program. Now, in the training program or you can more or less see it as like a induction, I suppose, this will roughly take about four months until I can actually get funded by the company. So I guess you can say I'm not 100% professional until I get funded. But hey, look, it's LinkedIn official, so there you go. And the thing is, now that I am in this particular proprietary trading firm, Maverick FX, uh, there is no more filtering. Once you're in there and you're doing the induction and everything like that, uh, you're in. So what really baffled me is that there is a really low success rate. About 4% of applicants actually get in, but I think that's pretty common uh, across all proprietary trading firms anyway. Uh, there is a really strong filtering process. But the thing is, Maverick Trading, uh, what I can say is that so far, my experience has been really good just going through the coursework and getting myself up to speed they're very thorough with their um, their coursework and their introductions and uh, it's really good for any new trader uh, that doesn't know anything about it but is really interested to actually get started there um, there is that filtering process of course so not everybody gets in uh, but if you're interested that's something that you can think about but for those that don't actually know what a proprietary trading firm is Let's go have a look at that a bit more. Now, something that I want to address first is uh, the link between proprietary trading and professional traders. Now, the textbook definition of a professional trader, I suppose, is somebody that actually is hired on by a company uh, to trade their capital. Now, a company could be a bank or a hedge fund or a company in general, which could be a proprietary trading firm. Now, uh, like myself, for example, being hired on by a proprietary trading firm, being Maverick uh, Trading or Maverick FX, is that they contract me out to trade uh, on their behalf to trade their money and I get paid out a commission and that commission is a percentage cut of the profits that I make. So for my example, if I'm trading for a proprietary trading firm and I'm trading uh, in an essence their capital, then uh, I can consider myself a professional trader. There you go. Um, that's some mad clout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Now, uh, clout aside, uh, that is not the reason why I decided to join a proprietary trading firm. There's so many good benefits uh, of joining a proprietary trading firm and becoming a professional trader, uh, which I'm actually going to talk to in the next episode. Uh, and we'll talk about the differences between a professional or a proprietary trader like myself compared to your traditional retail traders and retail traders being uh, the average punter particularly or somebody that's trading their own money. Now, with a very brief introduction to what a proprietary trading firm or a proprietary trader is, uh, we need to discuss something that is actually really, really important here. So if we go back to uh, my slogan, if you call it that, the trading journal is documenting my journey of becoming one day a professional and successful 
trader. Now, there's two sides of that coin, professional and successful. And the thing is here, and the thing that I want to address is, well, by definition, uh, I may be a professional trader now that I am trading for a proprietary trading firm, I may not necessarily be successful. And the risk here is, and like anything else, and I just wanna give a few examples, uh, like a doctor, you may go to university and you may become a doctor, but may not necessarily be a successful doctor. And another example is engineering. You might be an engineer, but maybe uh, somebody's house falls down. So uh, that wouldn't make you a successful engineer. <laughs> So just because I might be a professional trader or anyone might claim that they are a professional trader does not necessarily mean that they are successful. And likewise, you don't actually need to be a by definition professional trader to actually be successful. There is a lot of retail traders and retail meaning uh, somebody that trades their own money and not necessarily trades for a firm. Uh, there's a lot of retail traders out there that are actually successful. And that's really the good thing about trading is that like owning your own business, uh, there is no barrier to entry. You don't need good grades. You don't need a college or a university degree. You can actually be successful at it and and learn as you go or learn from, I suppose, the internet. <laughs> and look, to be honest, at the end of the day, whether you're a professional trader or a retail trader, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is whether you can actually uh, get money out of the markets and be profitable. And that is what I would define a successful trader, professional or not. So now this leads me to uh, the question, why even become a professional trader to begin with? Ha, well, sorry, next video. So there you have it. This is just a video to update you and to actually start the actual trading journal uh, so that you can get an idea of actually what is happening uh, around me <laughs> in terms of uh, this trading journey that I'm on, but also to update you on where I currently am uh, at this stage and that I have finally managed to get into a proprietary trading firm in the United States and actually take this somewhat very seriously. Uh, this is really crazy. I'm actually super excited to share this video with you to update you on what's happened of recent events and really excited to share with you the next episode on the differences between proprietary and retail trading firms and why you might be interested in trading for a proprietary trading firm. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick journal update and I will see you in the next episode.